it's Natalie from Everything Else, and today I'm going to show you May flip throughs in all my planners. Let's jump in. First up is my catch all planner. I usually put a memory of the month on the dashboard, but I haven't gone around to doing that yet. I mainly use the Choose Happy sticker book for the monthly. And this week was the planner plunge. I used scrapbook paper in my planner to create this fun spread. Next week I went camping, so I went with a green color scheme and I included the ants. The next week I used some of the mini stickers in my classic happy planner and I liked the result. The week after that was my birthday week and I really liked all the fun colors. Here's my fitness planner. In the notes section, I put a picture of how I exercised. This month, I participated in A Mile a Day in May by Amanda Zampelli, which I'll link below, and I tracked my progress in the monthly. I wrote my exercise, or why I didn't exercise, in each day. I then highlighted that day's exercise. This helps me get a review of each month. In the weeklies, I resized Amanda's story templates, and I used them to break down my exercise. I used the calendar template on the, in the sidebar to track how many days I exercised out of that week. Next up is my mini happy planner that I use for school. May was my last month of school so it was very busy. I keep the monthly very simple so I can easily see what I have each day. On the weeklies, I divide each day into two. On the left, I write what is due that day or what quizzes and tests I have. On the right, I write my homework. Thank you for watching and please like, comment, and subscribe and check out the links below.